Hey, Julia. Can you hear me? Oh, my gosh. Hi, Lynn. Oh, good. I'm glad you can hear me. <laughs> hey, Lynn. Have everyone enjoying? What's that? I had to drive around Torrington and find somewhere where there's service. Sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, great. Okay, how about now? Can you hear me, Julia? Hey, Lynn, I can't hear you. I'm not sure that John knew that we had a meeting, um, but I know that Lara knew. Okay, let me see if, why didn't John know? See if I can text him. This, Brayden. I hope Laura didn't give up. I was late. Can you send John the ID number?
Julia, can you hear me? Hey, Lynn, I'm here. Julie, I'm here. Hey, John, it's Julia. How are you? Good. Lynn, I'm here. She's having a bad reception in Torrington, I guess. Yeah. How long you been in? Them? How long you been waiting, Julia? Oh, hi. You know what? I'm so sorry. Lynn, can you try talking right now? Lynn, I think that Lynn lost us. Um, I I was on at six, but that's okay. Um, I don't see Lara on here either. Um, but did you Lynn, did you invite her? Um, she should have been invited. Like I thought that um, we were texting about it today, um, and I know that she had emailed about it. Hopefully Lynn is able to jump back in soon. Um, yeah. but You're recording. You're recording all this, right? Uh, it is being recorded. Yes. Um, I did not. Lynn was on here earlier. She called the meeting um, after our last meeting together. Um, but um, I mean, I guess I could call the meeting or I'll just call the meeting to order, I guess, if the two of us are on it. <laughs> calling the meeting to order at 622. Um, so we were going to review cover letters that we were supposed to have asked for um, with the list that we had whittled down of applicants for the job. And right. I tried calling right. town. I know that Laura had reached out to, to see if any cover letters had come in um, and hadn't heard back on that email. Um, I called Joyce today and left a voicemail to see if she had them, but um, haven't heard anything back. So um, <laughs> I'm not really sure where that leaves us. I know that we want to move forward and start interviewing um, candidates as soon as possible. Um, but I don't know if Joyce was out of the office today. Um, I hope the message got to her. Uh, to ask for them, but she was on that email. But do you have any status updates from anyone? No, I didn't even know I had to go for, searching for it. Um, I thought they would have sent it over to you. All right. So um, it looks like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's important to have the cover letter, but I mean, we gotta we gotta move forward. Um, yeah. That, yeah. That's my opinion. You know, I mean. Um, I would love to have the cover letter and I'm surprised a lot of people don't do that anymore. Um, but, uh, no. Um, no, I agree with you. And the cover letter isn't so that isn't such a, oh, Lynn's available now. She might have more information. She says it keeps kicking her off. Oh, okay. Hi, Lynn. Hi. Hi. Can I can hear, hear you now. Hi. Um, I had called the meeting to order. Um, so we are we are here. Okay. No Laura yet? No. Um I sent her an email. Unfortunately, my uh phone had run out of battery. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else could text her. Do you I know did. you did? I did. Okay. 
Do you know if we have any, um, if any cover letters came in? I tried calling Joyce today. I didn't want to bug you, um, just knowing that you have a lot going on right now. Um, so I reached out to Joyce, but uh, wasn't able to get in touch with her today to see if any cover letters had come in. Um, I don't know, but I did just see an email from her stating that there's a lot on the email, I guess on the Park and Rec email. So I need to go in tomorrow and see what that's all about. Okay. Um, I think, is that the address we had given for the cover letters? For some reason, I thought that Joyce, that those were going to be going to Joyce. Oh, we lost her again. You're on mute. <laughs> yeah, you're on mute, Lynn. Okay. Yeah, now I can hear you. As far as I know, we haven't gotten any, but I will go in tomorrow and check. It's the short story. Okay. And are we sure that Joyce had gotten the message to reach out to those selected applicants to ask for cover letters? Oh, we lost her again. Uh, you, I, you went on mute again. Why does it keep doing that? I don't know. It's weird. It shows mute, but I can hear you now. And we lost her. Oh, there she is. This is ridiculous. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I don't know where there's service. Do you feel like you're in a third world country? <laughs> um, nope. No service. I know. Lynn, are you or can you hear us right now? Um, I'm wondering, I'm happy to go in and meet her at town hall tomorrow um, to see what has come in. And then if we haven't gotten cover letters to at least figure out how we're reaching out to the applicants that we narrowed down to try to set that's, up interviews. That's good. Yeah, that'd be fine. That, I'm, yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think that, I mean, my concern is just with everything else going on that maybe the message didn't get to the applicants because I think it's strange yeah. with especially the local ones if they didn't send us what we had asked for. Um, so I can... Reach out. Well, you know what, Julia? Hang on a second. Um, Blythe has been in there. I don't have a Google account, so I can't go in the email account. But Blythe um, can. Yeah. So contact Blythe. See what she has. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll contact Blythe. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure um, what will be. I don't even think we have a quorum if it's just the two of us. I don't know what the number is yeah, I know. I know. Um, that we need. So. Um, I can, I'll reach out to Lynn and offer to meet with her and suggest that we move ahead with scheduling interviews for those applicants. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, um, it'll have to be after Thanksgiving, but that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, it will. Um, and I can reach out to everybody too and try to, maybe I'll send around a, um, what are those things? Uh, the like, where you check to see what time works for everybody, people can put in their ideal times. Right. Um, oh, a doodle, sorry, a doodle. My husband heard me. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so I think, I'm not sure what else we can really do tonight, but I can, I'll reach out to all of you over email and offer to meet her in town hall. And then um, hopefully we can move forward with all of that stuff then. Yeah, that's no problem. 
Okay, great. Um, so I will see you at seven o'clock then. Oh, and I'll also reach out to uh, Blythe and ask her if she's seen anything from applicants for the job. What are we, uh, what, what's the ID number for the Zoom that we're using for the, the monthly meeting? Right. Um, you know what I always do? I always go to townofkent.org to find the agendas and then get them on those. Um, hold on. Um, I can, um, do you want me to email it to you or send it in? Yes, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, please do. Okay, cool. I'll email it to you now. Thank um, you. And I guess we can adjourn this meeting at 6.30 if it yep. was a meeting. <laughs> All right, great. Thanks, John. I'll talk to you soon. You too. Yeah, bye.